So friends, in this video we will be seeing the program status word. What does it actually mean? First of all, I will draw the block diagram of program status word. So this is the diagram of the program status word. There are some instructions which affect the status flags. So these status flag are not able to perform their work and they are grouped together so they can perform their work and the group of these status flags is called as program status word. So actually these are flags, there are 8 flags in it and the program status word is of 8 bit now you will have a question that what is a flag so a flag is a flip flop that uh, that will indicate some condition which is produced by the execution of an instruction for example if the, this carry flag is set then uh, for example we have this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for example we have this 8 digit number and if the and if you want to add some other 8 digit number with this then if a carry is generated that is the 9th bit if the 9th bit will be generated then this carry flag will be set so here comes a condition that uh, it has to increase its 1 bit that is the 9th bit so this condition is re generally represented by these flags now, there are three types of flags uh, the first one is the maths flag, the second one is the program flag and the third one is the bank registers, registers bank record. Generally flags are used to store the status of the result of some instructions and uh, it is of one bit, one flag is equal to one bit. Now we will see the function of the carry flag, so carry flag will be set when there will be a carry out of these eight digits uh, and it will become the and it will gain one extra digit that is the nine digit then this carry flag will be set out of this uh, msb so here will be the ninth digit so when there comes a nine digit then this carry flag will be set now we will talk about the auxiliary carry flag so this auxiliary carry flag uh, is set when there is a carry out of the lower nibble to the higher nibble or there is a borrow from the higher nibble to the lower nibble. The carry will be generated when there is addition of two numbers and the borrow will be generated when there will be subtraction of two numbers. Whenever there is a carry generated from the lower nibble to the higher nibble then then the auxiliary carry flag will be set and when there will be a borrow from the higher nibble to the lower nibble then then also the auxiliary carry flag will be set now talking about the f of flag that is the user defined flag now this flag is totally under the control of the programmer or we can say in simple terms user so user has the rights to uh, set this overflow flag or to be or to clear this overflow flag we will talk about this rs1 and rs0 bits so these are actually the register bank records when the uh, when rs1 will be 0 and rs0 will also be 0 then bank 0 will be selected and when the rs1 Similarly, when there will be 0 in RS1 and 1 in RS0, then bank 1 will, 1 will be selected. And similar ways, these other functions will, will also take place. Now talking about the overflow flag. Now this overflow flag will be set uh, if there is another bit generated that is out of this 8 bit. Uh, here another bit will be generated and that is the 9th bit. So 
actually the size of the digits is the will be the 8 bit but an extra bit is generated and this is called as overflow so the value of the, uh, the ninth bit will be stored in this overflow flag and it will perform the function of the extra bit now talking about this bit this bit is actually reserved for uh, another functions maybe actually there is an empty space given here now talking about this parity flag this uh, parity flag will be set when there will be an even parity generated uh, in the numbers of ones so that's it guys from this video thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye